This is Top 30. Coming up, a breathalyzer that can detect cancer. The shocking response to the new R. Kelly docuseries. And rumors are swirling about Meghan Markle returning to Suits. Hi there, welcome to the show. I'm Kristen Smith, and here are 30 things you need to know right now. Despite the government shutdown, the IRS has announced they will issue refunds to taxpayers. In the past, during a shutdown like this, the IRS would still accept tax returns, but refunds were delayed. But the director of the White House Office of Management and Budget has said they're fixing the problem and filing season will begin on January 28th this year. And health officials in New York are desperately trying to stop a measles outbreak from turning into an epidemic. Since September, the state has already recorded 122 cases of the highly infectious disease, making it the worst year on record since the 1990s. Experts believe the virus has been brought back by those who have visited Israel, which has been battling an epidemic of measles for months. And finally, a love letter written on an airplane barf bag has gone viral. Someone cleaning the airplane found the note last year and posted it to Reddit. It's written by a girl named Andrea who says she's 21 and on her way to confess to her best friend that she's in love with him. She was also leaving to study abroad for a semester in Australia. All the makings of a good rom-com. The hashtag FindAndrea2019 has been started because people are dying to see how this real-life movie ends. All right, now let's go to the New York Stock Exchange for our Fox Business Minute with Jerry Willis. Jerry, an iconic brand is changing its logo. That's right, Kristen. MasterCard dropping its name. The company following the lead of branding giants like Apple, Nike, and Target, and taking the company name out of its logo. MasterCard's intersecting red and yellow circles will be used on credit cards and all advertising going forward. The company hoping to create a stronger presence across an ever-changing digital landscape. And Korean automaker Hyundai is at CES in Las Vegas unveiling a new car that can walk. The wheels with robotic legs allow users to drive, walk, or climb over treacherous terrain. It can climb a five-feet wall and step over a five-feet gap. Hyundai hopes this car will save lives in disaster zones. And if you're looking for pizza and beer for the next big game, Pizza Hut is expanding its beer delivery service. It will be up and running in nearly 300 locations this month, just in time for the Super Bowl. So will beer be available at every Pizza Hut? By the summer, Pizza Hut plans to have beer delivery at 1,000 locations. Okay, good to know. Thanks, Jerry. Time now for the New York Minute with Rosanna Scotto from Fox 5 New York. Rosanna, good to see you. Music festival season is here. I think we need to think warm thoughts because it's freezing in New York right now. So everybody's very excited about the ninth annual Governor's Ball Music Festival. It's set from May 31st to June 2nd at Randall's Island Park. And what a lineup featuring 70 artists. We just found out who's going to do it. Big names set to take the stage, including Tyler, the Creator, Florence and the Machine, Lil Wayne, Major Lazer, Lily Allen, and the 1975. Nice. And then on that Sunday, headliners The Strokes will perform. By the way, it's their first U.S. show since July of 2016. Tickets are available now, and festival goers can also purchase a limited edition phone charger yeah. so they can enjoy the show without worrying about losing power. And all we need now is good weather, and then yeah. it's a perfect weekend. Oh, my goodness. That sounds like a blast. Okay, moving on. Some New Yorkers are looking to follow L.A. in honoring a former president. Uh, yeah, but this one comes with uh, a big caveat. So uh, back in December, a stretch of the 134 freeway in L.A. was renamed President Barack H. Obama Highway. Right. So now a MoveOn.org petition is asking Mayor de Blasio of New York City and the City Council to pay tribute to the former POTUS in their own way. They want to rename a stretch of Fifth Avenue between 56th and 57th Street, also changing the addresses on the street accordingly. Now, do you know who lives on Fifth Avenue between 56th and 57th Street, Kristen? I have an idea. Would it be... The President of the United States. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Trump <laughs> Tower is right there, meaning its address would theoretically be 725 President Barack H. Obama Avenue. <laughs> so the petition currently has over 50,000 signatures. I can't really imagine it going anywhere. That is probably going to be the headquarters for his 2020 re-election if he chooses to do so. But you never know in New York, in a New York minute.
All right, things could get awkward, but always a good time. Rosanna, thank you so much. Now listen to this next story. A breathalyzer that can detect several types of cancer is being tested right now in England, and it has the potential to save millions of lives. Participants in the trial are being tested for signs of stomach and esophageal cancer, but they plan to expand to pancreatic, prostate, kidney, liver, and bladder cancers as well. The device is designed by a diagnostics company called Alstone Medical, whose CEO, Billy Boyle, said the concept of providing a whole body snapshot in a completely non-invasive way is very powerful and can reduce harm by sparing patients from more invasive tests that they don't need. The breath test identifies specific changes in molecules that could be triggered by cancer. The National Cancer Institute estimates there were more than 600,000 cancer-related deaths in 2018. If all goes well, a breath biopsy could become a staple in most doctor's offices as an easy way to screen patients for cancer. Our friend DeBrat over at Dish Nation has your hottest celebrity news. So Brad, I hear one rapper is bringing together some big names on his latest album. That's right, Kristen. Kanye West is taking his talents to South Beach. It's reported that Kanye is working on a new album in Miami, and he's bringing together some of hip hop's best. Ye's lineup include Lil Wayne, Timbaland, The Migos, and 2 Chainz, just to name a few. Ye worked on five albums last year, and he's keeping the same dragon energy in 2019. So when you surprise Kim with the $14 million condo for Christmas. It was really for him? Yeah, yeah, I see what you did there. That was smart. Okay, y'all, so the Golden Globes almost ended in tragedy for Taraji P. Henson as she was leaving the awards. She realized she lost one of her diamond rings. And when she realized she lost it, she screamed, oh my God, no one move, my ring, my ring, and began to desperately search for it in the crowd. Luckily, Terry Crews was around to help her. He got the crowd to stop moving and even got on his knees to search for it. Luckily, the ring was found. Girl, you can't play with diamonds like that. Whew. And finally, Kendall Jenner landed a new gig. And it's not on the runway, y'all. She's now going to fight acne as the new face of Proactive. She shared the news via social media after teasing a clip in which she said she'd be helping a lot of people. Kris Jenner is a beast with getting her kids the best endorsements. Hey, Kris, why don't you give me a call? <laughs> okay, that's it for today's Dish. Until next time. All right, thanks, Brat. For the latest celebrity news, make sure you watch Dish Nation weekdays. Check your local listings. Here's a cool story. A new Amazon feature makes it easier to shop for furniture without even leaving the house. Amazon Showroom lets shoppers customize a virtual living room to look more like their own. They can change the floors as well as the color of the walls. Then they can place different pieces of furniture available on the site to get an idea of what they would look like in their home and click to purchase. It's the latest move by Amazon to get into home furnishings. The company also has its own furniture brands like Stone and & Beam and Rivet. It can be difficult for online shoppers to picture what new furniture would look like in person. The items are also heavy and expensive to ship. Amazon says they hope the new feature will help shoppers answer the question, how will this all look together? The feature is available now on Amazon's website and mobile apps. And still ahead, 5G is here if you're in certain cities. And a Jetpack Racing League is coming. Don't go anywhere. Top 30 will be right back after this promotional consideration provided by Cortisone Air. Why let itchy, irritated skin keep you from all the fun this winter? Cortisone 10 works fast to help soothe irritation and relieve itch for 10 full hours. Cortisone 10. Welcome back. Time now for Royal Watch with our Royal commentator, Victoria Arbiter. Victoria, great to see you. Good to be back with you, Kristen. Well, it's a new year full of new royal events, and I hear Prince William and Kate Middleton are already out and about. Yes, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge made their first appearance at the New Year on Sunday when they joined the Queen for Church at Sandringham, accompanied by close friends including Laura Mead, who's godmother to baby Prince Louis, the group appear to be enjoying their last few days of the winter break. But now, back in London, Kate will celebrate her 37th birthday this week, the same day Prince William is due to visit London's Air Ambulance Service, which is marking its 30th anniversary this year. Very nice. All right, now I'm dying to talk about this next one. There are reports that Meghan Markle can make a comeback on her old show Suits for just one episode. So Victoria, what do you know about this? 
Yes, rumours are swirling that the Duchess of Sussex is planning to make a return to Suits. Reportedly, NBC bosses are said to have offered to make a multi-million dollar donation <laughs> to a charity of her choosing if she agrees to do one final episode. Now, they're saying the two-minute clip would film in London and it would feature Meghan's character, Rachel Zane, happily married and pregnant with her new baby. But I fear fans may be left disappointed. I'm sure the donation is incredibly tempting, but given Meghan's senior royal status, it's highly unlikely she'll be appearing. <laughs> <laughs> I am sure the show and fans would love to have her back, but I'm so happy you said that because I was like, there's no way someone who's part of the royal family would do that. The queen would not have that, right? I don't think so. No, Prince Charles has visited the set of TV shows before, as have other royals, but not to appear on the show. Victoria, thank you so much for the royal news. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Kristen. All right, ladies and gents, 5G is here. Just last month, AT&T announced the upcoming release of their 5G wireless hotspot. According to an article by CNN, the hotspot can offer speeds up to 400 megabits per second. This could be about 10 to 100 times faster than 4G. The hotspot, or the Netgear Nighthawk, helps to change network airwaves into Wi-Fi. Currently, AT&T is only offering the 5G service in 12 cities, Atlanta, Charlotte, Dallas, Houston, Indianapolis, Jacksonville, Louisville, Oklahoma City, New Orleans, Raleigh, San Antonio, and Waco. But you may encounter some issues if you're inside, as Nighthawk doesn't move through walls well, so you may have to do a little work to get access. The company's 5G radios were required to be installed on rooftops, lamp poles, and utility poles, which only allow 5G access in the city centers instead of the outskirts. AT&T said it plans to expand to more cities in the spring, but for now, users in available cities will pay about 500 bucks up front and about $70 per month for the service. Similarly, Verizon only offers its 5G service in Houston, Indianapolis, Los Angeles, and Sacramento. But you can't take the Verizon device with you. The company's 5G system is only accessible on Verizon's proprietary network technology. So if you're in one of these cities, you may have 5G available to you. And if not, no worries, it's coming your way. Let's go to the New York Post now, where Heather Houseworth has a very scandalous story. Heather, this isn't just another workplace romance. That's right, Kristen. This love triangle has four corners and four police badges. A New York City Police Department officer had an affair with a fellow cop. What makes this story odd is that the officer's girlfriend and his lover's husband are also on the force. The love quadrangle all blew up on social media. In a fit of vengeance, the slighted girlfriend shared incriminating photos that she found on her cheating boyfriend's cell phone to Instagram. One scandalous pic that she posted shows the two cheating lovers with her boyfriend's bare chest dripping with beads of water. Another photo shows the two cheaters kissing and snuggling. So are these four officers still working together? When the bosses found out, they took away everyone's weapons, nine firearms in total. A law enforcement source said that this was done because of the potential of a violent outcome with officers having access to guns. But all four cops were given back their weapons and returned to active duty during the past week, pending the results of the investigation. Well, we'll see what they uncover. Thanks, Heather. This is a great time of year to enhance your workout and really make it count, which is why we have today's Top 30 Steel, a two-pack of Stry Fusion Bio 2 smartwatches at a special 76% discount. This is a fitness tracker and a smartwatch all in one. It tracks your steps, distance walk, calories burned, diet, daily habits, medication, hydration, weight, and more. Plus, it monitors your heart rate and your sleep. And it allows you to always stay connected, even when your phone is out of reach. Since you get two, you can keep one for yourself and give one to your workout partner. The two-pack of Stry Fusion Bio 2 smartwatches retails for as much as $160. But today, you can buy them for just $39. Bucks. That's a 76% discount. And you can get these right now at MorningSave.com while they last. We're going to take a quick break and then more Top 30 after this. Welcome back to Top 30. Last week, a record 1.9 million tuned into Lifetime's Surviving R. Kelly, the six-part docuseries which chronicled decades of sexual assault allegations against the R&B singer. With more, we're joined by New York City radio host Mike Adam. So, Mike, viewers have reportedly had an unexpected response to the series. Yeah, for sure. So The Blast apparently spoke with a representative from Spotify who confirmed that R. Kelly's streams are up a pretty significant amount, 16% since this series started 
And it's ironic because if you remember in May of last year, Spotify actually pulled all of R. Kelly's music from the platform because of the allegations against him. They obviously eventually reversed that decision because if you're gonna ban one artist for hateful conduct, then you have to ban every artist that could potentially fall into that category. Right, but while some fans are seemingly flocking to Kelly's music, what's the reaction been within the music industry? Artists are really condemning R. Kelly. Uh, John Legend obviously was a part of the series and he said he didn't have to think twice to hop on board and that he fully believes all the women that have come forward. Uh, Chance the Rapper, he's another one. He collaborated with R. Kelly back in 2015 and he went on record and said you know that was a huge mistake and jada pinkett smith she took to instagram to say how baffled she was when she found out that r kelly streams have went up since this series kicked off and that she's going to talk about it on her uh facebook show red table well definitely a lot for her to talk about thanks mike Soon fans of the Transformers movies will have the chance to own not just one piece of Hollywood history, but four. A group of Chevrolet Camaros that played Bumblebee in the hit franchise will be going up for auction. The cars will be sold as a package deal by Barrett Jackson later this month in Scottsdale, Arizona. There's no reserve or minimum bid on the auction. One car starred in the first movie from 2007, as well as Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. The others were made for the sequels, Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, and The Last Last night. Because the cars were modified for their on-screen work, they're sold on a scrap title and can't be driven on public roads. But at least the money will go to a good cause. 100% of the hammer price will benefit Operation Homefront. It's a nonprofit that helps military veterans and their families with financial assistance and housing. The Bumblebees will cross the auction block on January 19th. Okay, when it comes to work-life balance, we look for inspiration from a variety of places. And Paige Failing from Fox 46 Charlotte shows us how even the pop charts can help our working moms and dads. Hi, Paige. You know, I just don't know if anyone has ever said it better than my musical idol, Missy Elliott, who said, is it worth it? Let me work it. I put my kids down, flip it, and reverse it or something like that. Because for so many moms, right, we still feel like we have to ask ourselves, is it worth it? And if so, how do I make it work? Well, if you ask Carrie Barker and Sarah Balcom that question, you will be met with a resounding yes, it's worth it. And here's how they make it work. These two founders of Charlotte Boutique and now social movement Girl Tribe have some tricks up their very fashionable sleeves to help the rest of us. First up, both ladies swear by splitting up to stay together. If you have a parental parent, divvy up the duties there between you and your partner. Next, organization has its place, but Carrie and Sarah say, don't worry about keeping things in their place when it comes to work and home. Allow some overlap to occur between the two there. Finally, when in doubt, dish it out. Pick your priorities, and if you can afford to, pay other people to do the rest, which shows me that they really do agree with misdemeanor. Girls, girls, get that cash. If it's nine to five or you're making that fashion or something like that, right, Kristen? I love Missy Elliott and that's great advice for working parents. Thanks, Paige. Get excited, the FabFitFun Winter Editor's Box is here. FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box delivered four times a year with fashion, beauty, home, fitness, and wellness products for just $49.99 a box. Spoil yourself or someone you love with the best care package ever. They're always filled to the brim with the best stuff. One of my favorite things from this box is the Donnie Tricolor Scarf, so warm and adorable. And Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brighteners are the best. And I'm so excited that the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Masks are back. This is the best way to discover new products. Sign up for FabFitFun today. These boxes are amazing and they always sell out. Use my code TOP30 to get $10 off your first box. Go to FabFitFun.com to sign up and use promo code TOP30 to get 10 bucks off. That's over $300 worth of goodies for just $39.99. Again, it's FabFitFun.com and if you use the code TOP30, you'll get 10 bucks off your first box. Don't go anywhere, we have more Top 30 coming right up. Welcome back. Over a lake in Southern California, the future has arrived. That as U.S. company Jetpack Aviation has completed a series of test flights to ensure pairs of jetpacks can fly close together without causing turbulence or interference. According to JPA CEO David Maiman, the test represents the first time in history two jetpacks have flown together and proves they can safely do so within inches of each other. With that feat accomplished, Maiman says the next step is to get them racing. 
JPA is in turn inviting prospective teams and event promoters to take part in racing trials set to start this year. To participate, teams will require at least three jetpacks, of which JPAs can travel at speeds of 200 miles per hour. The races will initially take place over water and may resemble the Red Bull Air Race, pilots navigating obstacles, turns, and barriers. Taking a page out of the Quidditch playbook, Mayman says teams may also be required to collect and control balls mid-air. My only question is, where do I sign up? And that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching. Here's what's coming up on the next Top 30. Flight attendants on one airline are now accepting tips, and not everyone's happy about it. Plus, rising interest rates and home prices have first-time buyers looking for help. And the gadgets you'll be buying this year are being unveiled now at CES. You can also listen to the day's biggest stories on the Top 30 podcast. It's all coming up on the next Top 30.